All right, so here we have a 2006 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, what we're going to be doing is replacing the condenser. Uh, it has like um, some residue from some oil leaking. The AC has uh, no charge in it. Uh, so uh, we're going to go ahead and remove some of the front here. Uh, if we look at the book, it tells us we also have to remove the radiator, so that could be coming. We're going to try to get away with not. Um, but so we need to take a look at what we got going on. So we're going to remove the uh, front grill now. All right, so we'll go ahead and remove some 10 millimeter bolts here at the top. We have some push pins on the side. Just lift up and remove the grill. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, this upper shroud cover here. Got a couple push pins across the top. All right, so to get the condenser out, that's going to come forward and come up. So we're going to go ahead and remove uh, the latches. This is your transmission oil cooler and our horns. We're going to go ahead and uh, remove this stuff. This one right here, right around this location that we were just after. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we have two uh, line connection points here. They're 10 millimeter. We'll go ahead and remove that. Now this has been um, evacuated. You start to see this discolorization. I don't know if we'll get that on camera, uh, but that's what that is where the leak is. Uh, somewhere in this area, the oil and the freon have, have are seeping out. Okay, so go ahead and just move our lines off to the side all right so we have these two tens and that should be enough to get it free there's uh, some four 10 millimeter uh, bolts around the four corners of the radiator we'll go ahead and loosen those up now all right so here's our our top uh, mounting bolt for the radiator, a 12 millimeter, another top one. Ah! 
All right, so we just want to move the radiator back a tiny bit. All right. All right so we should be able to to lean forward. All right. So what we're trying to do is this piece right here, uh, once, it, once it leans, we don't want it to dig into the radiator and, and start a leak on the radiator. So it's kind of why we had to make that little extra room there. There you can see the oil pattern from the leak. All right, so we'll go ahead and get our new one matched up. All right, so here we have our new uh, condenser that we got from Auto Parts Direct U. So we just want to make sure that everything is going to fit the same. Looks like we're going to have to transfer our upper uh, bushings. It does come with the lower uh, bushing. We'll go ahead and take these off, move them over. All right, so we go in, we'll go ahead and uh, put a little bit of oil in. Our condenser uh, has our accumulator or our receiver dryer uh, mounted to the side. Same with this one. Now we'll go ahead and put a little bit of oil inside of uh, the condenser uh, just so for what it's holding to replace. Just a little bit. All right, so we're going to carefully put our condenser back in. Put our upper bolts in. And go ahead and put our radiator back in its spot. We're just going to clean up our, our end to our AC line going into the condenser. Same with the lower. We're going to put a little bit of oil on our AC O-rings. Right, we'll go put put our center support back in.
All right, so now we have the vehicle all back together. Uh, what we do need to do now is um, have the system vacuumed uh, for 30 minutes. Let it hold the vacuum. Uh, you know, once you turn the valves off, the system should hold the vacuum. Uh, that'll tell us that we don't have any leaks, and then we can go ahead and charge the system up with Freon uh, after that.